Hey, what's up, people? This is the Spartan Kid, man. Thanks again for coming to my YouTube site. I really appreciate it. Today, we're uh, talking about the beast I fight. This is the commentary for that song, and um, I hope y'all enjoy it. So just uh, ride out with me for a minute. Um, that song was really special because it, it really showcased, like, I don't know, just everything. All, all the anger, everything I was, like, feeling at the time, I just kind of embodied it and just put all my energy forth into that one song and like I think you can really hear hear the way it comes out on um, the pain um, issues I was going through with my family at the time and just everything my job you know and then um, it was such a powerful concept you know I decided to do a, a second verse but it was initially just you know one song I mean one verse but uh, you know I added on to it added a hook to it because the concept was so powerful um, one thing is uh, in the first verse when I say, um, uh, you know, <laughs> all you rappers just bore me except for like three of them. All the rest are a disgrace. They should grab the mic and smack themselves in the face. You know, um, I know a lot of people are going to wonder about that part. And, uh, you know, they say the best three rappers alive, Pac, uh, Biggie, and, and uh, Jay, or Pac, Big, and Nas, whatever your preference is. And um, that's kind of where I was going with that. You know, only three of the great ones, you know, that's... You know, 2005, 2006, that's when Nas had the hip hop is dead and all that. So, you know, rap was really uh, kind of falling by the wayside from a lot of people's point of view. So that's when I was with the part, you know, all you rappers just bored me except for like three of them, the three, the three great ones. So that's why I was going with that. But of course, you know, things have changed. I knew things would change and then rap wouldn't, you know, keep being born like that. Um, if you guys are wondering about this location, um, I actually just got off work. And I found this, like, wide open area. And I thought it, you know, it'd be good to reflect because, you know, sometimes, you know, walking through life, we feel like we're all by ourselves, you know. And um, talking about the song, The Beast I Fight, you know, I felt like I was alone at the time, just me against myself, you know. And these demons that were, you know, in my mind and, and everything. So I felt like since I'm doing the commentary on the track, you know, this wide open area would be, you know, suitable, suitable spot. I'm in some industrial place, you know, my job's right around the corner. But, um, you know, that's neither here nor there. Y'all don't hear about all that stuff. Um, pretty much that's it. Oh, in the second verse, you know, I talk about death a little bit and, um, you know, you know, watch my mom so she sit and cries, wishing that I didn't die. You know, that was how I was feeling at the time, you know. And, uh, you know, we all want to go to heaven and hopefully make the right choices. And, um, you know, I was just letting it all go, man. Um, I had a green Taurus back then. So, you know, just about everything is true on there. Um, I'm trying to think of something else I wanted to get through to y'all with the song. Um, you know, oh, the beat. The beat, um, I had never heard the beat. I had bought a, uh, back then I used to just buy instrumental CDs. And, um, you know, whatever beats was on there, I would just use those, loop them. And, you know do my music on them so a lot of the beats i used was industry beats i didn't ever buy beats and uh you know pay you know i would just buy instrumental cds and mixtape anyway i wasn't trying to you know sell my music or promote it like that i was just trying to get it out there so people could hear what i was saying so i would just go with whatever beats i could find usually usually industry beats are better than some beats somebody makes up anyway so it was a win-win situation for me i got my, my message out my point across so that was that but i had never heard the beat before so it had a really unique sound to it it, it um, conveyed my message my pain my anger the way i wanted it to so um that's how come i stuck with the beat um the hook i did three ad libs on the hook i did my first you know the initial lyrics then i went over it a second time to kind of put a little more emphasis on the words then i went on it a third time and I completely changed my voice, um, still saying the same words. Um, so that was a good technique that I had did, and uh, that's the only song I did that on with the three, the three, uh, the three doubles or whatever on the on the hook. Um, and um, that that song got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people consider that to be my best work. Actually, you know, I think I have a lot more better stuff than that. More stuff to come, but people consider that my best work. Um, they haven't heard me yet. But, you know, right now, things are looking good, man. Right now, I'm just uh, still working on a new album, writing, and uh, 
things are looking good uh, this is video number five right here I hope y'all enjoyed it um, what I got coming up next for y'all is a five-part series on the best rapper alive and I'm gonna use that five-part series and we're gonna go and talk about uh, probably Pac, uh, Nas, Big, and then Jay in that order and then um, that'll be four parts and then the fifth part will kind of be a summary or maybe the first part will be an introduction so stay tuned for that series and then um, I'll probably just chill for a minute man until I actually get in the studio and do some videos on that you know this is going to be like a weekly thing or you know two weeks or something just depends on you know what I can get my finances up to uh, get in the studio but I appreciate y'all coming i appreciate the one or two people that's checking out the videos hey i do it for you man if it's only one person hey, it's just me and you we rocking together it don't have to be 10 20 people you know um like i said i prefer a small crowd it don't have to be um a thousand people or whatever it don't have to be a thousand people to download my music you know if it's one person i'm doing it for that one person i'm really doing it for hip-hop but if, you know if one person listens then i got one subscriber i got two subscribers then hey i'm rocking with you you know but you know, it's gonna it's gonna come up. Like I said, keep a, keep an eye out for Spartan, and um, you know things are gonna be on the up and up. And um, you know, I'm positive. I believe that you know what I'm doing is a good thing, and I believe that you know, at the end of the day, we're entertainers. You know, and uh, I try to make entertaining videos. You know, I'm just not out here to hear myself talk or look at you know look at myself. You know, I'm trying to do things that haven't been done, and. Um, you know you got to start somewhere so you know you got a dream you stick with it no matter what the next say say you you believe in you first before anybody else can believe in you you know you know a lot of people may may laugh or say what they're gonna say but that's on them you believe in you and I believe in myself no matter who else don't believe in me I believe in myself so that's all that really matters and um and, you know if some negative comments get up there you know I don't address negativity so I mean, you can put them on there. I'm not going to argue about it. I mean, everybody has their pain and entitled to it. A lot of people don't like me, might not like me, might not like my music, might think I'm a sorry rapper or whatever, but that's that's fine. That's their opinion. And I always respect another man's opinion. I don't always take heed to it because, you know, but, uh, you know, I hear, I respect them. And, um, you know, uh, there's industry niggas out there that I don't like, so... Uh, I ain't no industry nigga, so of course somebody might not like me. I ain't even in the industry, so it's a whole lot of people I don't like, but hey, they somebody likes them, so uh, there might be a lot of people that don't like me, but somebody likes me, and uh, it don't matter if nobody don't like me, you know. I'm doing this for hip-hop because I love the music. I love y'all. I love the fans, and um, I thank y'all for coming. So now I'm about to head home, work on some more music. Y'all stay tuned for more from the Spartan Kid. Love y'all. Thanks. Hope y'all enjoyed the song. I'll have more videos coming soon. Stay positive. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep moving forward. Don't let nobody stop you until your demise. Keep building your wealth. Your cheddar. Become a better person. All that good stuff. Thanks again, man. Y'all stay up. Peace and love from the Spartan Kid. We're gone.